At what distance do you sight in a 22 rifle and why? This is a NRA 100 yard small bore rifle target and I've got it set up here at 100 yards. But there's a reason that people sight things in at 100 yards and it's usually because on the box of ammo there's going to be a ballistic chart that'll tell you if you zero at 100 yards these are what your numbers will be at different distances usually at 50 and then 200 300 and out but you don't have to sight it in 100 yards this is an nra 50 yard competition target this is an official 75 foot small bore competition rifle target and this is an official 50 foot small bore rifle target from the nra so there are competitions that are set up at very short distances and there also is a 200 yard competition target small bore rifle through the nra right now i've got one of these targets set up at each one of the distances i just reviewed 50 75 50 yards and 100 yards i have the rifle that i'm going to use today set up at 50 yards and i'm going to take some shots at each one of these targets and show you where it's going to end up at being 50 yards all right now the rifle i'm going to be using today is a savage b22 fvsr it is a short barrel so this is uh, i think an 18 inch barrel on it most of the time when you get a box of ammo they give you a velocity on the box and this says it's 1100 feet per second that's at the muzzle as that bullet travels it's going to slow down because it's meeting wind resistance but usually that 1100 feet per second is calibrated out of a 24 inch barrel and this one's going to be a little bit shorter this is just one that i've been playing with recently so i figured why not i'll keep on going with it now another thing about this rifle one of the things i don't like and it's not the rifle it's the scope the scope does not have parallax adjustment on it and parallax adjustment what that is is it's the way your uh, reticle appears over your target pretty much if the parallax is off too far when you move your head around that reticle seems to be moving all over the place and the rifle can be pointed in the same di the same direction at the exact same point it just appears that it's that way when you can adjust the parallax on it it kind of superimposes that on there so there's not as much movement when you move your head around it makes it a little bit tougher with this rifle but i was able to get some really small groups with it and um, it doesn't do too bad now a lot of people have gotten on to me about using the uh, remington bulk ammo the thunderbolts and stuff like that and it is cheap ammo so this norma is high performance target ammunition and it really i can really tell the difference in it and i'm not a professional shooter i'm not a professional marksman i don't shoot competitions for um long range accuracy but um i do like doing it whether i'm good at it or not it doesn't matter and whatever distance i usually choose to sight my rifle in is just because i want to i don't shoot any competitions but if you're going to shoot a 50 foot competition the best thing to do would be to sight it in at 50 feet or 75 or 50 yards or 100 yards or 200 yards and practice 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 until you get it exactly where you want it this i sighted in at 50 yards because it was just kind of a random number uh 50 yards to me seems like a good distance for you know squirrel or rabbit or something like that which i'm okay with that too or just for planking I don't know if you can tell how breezy it is out here today, but it's pretty windy and don't let the sunshine fool you. It is cold out here too, but I'm going to take a couple shots right here at the center of this. Like I said, I sighted it in at 50 yards. The parallax throws me off a little bit on here, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what I can do because I've sighted in at 50 yards already. And then we'll take some shots at the different distances, the shorter and longer and see where we end up. Okay, so here we are back at the 50 yard target and there's my group right there which is not the best i'm also not taking my time it's not a competition rifle i do not have a great scope on there something that's really made for this that scope has no parallax adjustment it has no focus on it so it's pretty much i get what i get but any way you look at it that's a dime sized group well it is see 
Okay, this is the official 50 foot small bore target. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the center target there. I'm not gonna adjust my scope at all. I'm just gonna go for it. Now being a lot closer, my parallax should not be as much. I should do okay on this, hopefully. Okay, so there's my five shot group there. One, there's two right there, three, four, and five. I'm quite a bit low, uh, so that makes sense. My scope sits up higher than that, and the bullet has to actually travel in front of the path of my vision and then drop back down to the target. The bullet makes an arc. As soon as a bullet comes out of the barrel, it starts dropping. So in order for you to hit the target, the rifle has to be aimed upwards and the bullet travels over an arc and then hits your target. You want your point of impact and your line of sight to be the same. And that's what zeroing a rifle is, is getting those two to line up. And if you're at a known distance, then you know how to adjust to go closer or farther away. Let's go ahead and shoot that 100 yard target. I, I can guarantee you I'm gonna do even worse than I did on the 50 yard, but we'll give it a try anyways. Okay, here we are at the 100 yard official NRA small bore rifle target, and uh, it's still chilly out here, even in the sunlight. But I've got a much bigger ring here, so I'm gonna give it a try and see how it does, and then I'll go show you how the parallax works on this thing, the moving around and where it ends up and everything. Anyways, let's give this a try. Okay, here's the target, the 100 yard target. Actually, you didn't see anything hit it because they're all down here, one, two, three, four, five. And there's a good reason for that. I sighted it in at 50 yards, which means that my arc is gonna be a lot shorter, and this is a farther distance, so my arc is gonna be a lot higher. With me not adjusting that arc and sighting it in at 100 yards, I'm dropping considerably lower. At 200 yards, a 22 is about a 31 inch drop. So at 100 yards, it's probably, that's a good 17, 18 inches right there and drop when I sighted it in at 50 yards. So you really have to adjust it. And whatever you're shooting, if it's just planking or if you've got a specific target that you're shooting at, a specific competition, then you want to sight it in at that distance. All right, I'm going to attempt to give you an idea about the parallax. As I move around, so does the reticle, but the rifle is not moving at all. So when you're trying to shoot something that far away, it's hard to tell if you're center of the bullseye or a quarter inch to the left or right. And I think the parallax is actually easier to see at a closer target. I'm not moving the rifle, only my eye. All right, now with this rifle not having any way to focus or adjust the parallax on it, it does make it pretty tough to do it. And it's not that I'm trying to show off any of my shooting skills or anything. The whole reason I brought this one out is because I had a conversation with one of my subscribers, or one of my viewers anyways, and we were talking about why did I sight a rifle in at 50 yards, and it was actually a different rifle. It was a 22 Magnum, which is a better rifle that I've got, and I think I've got a better scope on it. But the conversation led to 22 long rifle, and he sights his stuff in at 100 yards. And that's fine, you can sight them in at whatever distance you want, or if you don't want any distance, it doesn't matter. But whatever you're doing, sight it in for that activity. If you're just out plinking cans at various distances, 50 yards, whatever, go for it. If you're shooting a competition, get something that's gonna be a good competition worthy uh, equipment, scope and rifle and everything. The rifle on here is just fine. The problem is the scope is not one that is uh, beneficial to you if you're going to shoot competition. You need something with an adjustable parallax on it or a focus. I prefer side focus or side parallax to objective focus which is up here because you put torque on the uh, the scope itself and you could throw it off. This to me is a good plinking rifle and it's a fun one and it's short. It's easy to carry through the woods if you're going to go out and do some hunting or whatever, or backpacking, whatever. And I, I like it not a big fan of the Nikon scope that's on there. In fact, I bought it for another rifle and I took it off and put it on this one because I didn't like it then, I don't like it now either. 
but um, who knows someday I may actually put a better one on there and put a little lower rings on it to get a little closer to the barrel because that affects things too the farther they're apart the more you're gonna have to adjust things so if you keep it as close to the center the bore axis as you can you can get a little more accurate to certain distances if you're gonna shoot really far distances you actually need a rail that is elevated 10 MOA, 20 MOA, or more actually. The farther you shoot, the more you want those to be aligned like that. There's one target over here I didn't put any holes in yet, so I'm gonna do that now. It's the 75 foot target. And I'm gonna take my time, a little more time with that one and see how I can do on it. All right, now that is a whole lot better. That's uh, That is an actual dime size group there with an actual dime. So if you take your time with it, even though it does not have parallax adjustment, the trick is getting your head in the exact same spot every time. And a lot of times you'll see rifles, the competition rifles anyways, that people put all kind of tape and everything on there. So they make sure they get their cheek weld exactly the same every time. That way they mitigate as much of that parallax as they can. But anyways, it's pretty breezy out here and I'm done for today. I'm getting in where it's nice and warm and I uh, gotta get a rifle cleaned up now. Anyways, if you could hit this button up here to check out some of my other videos, hit this button right here to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for taking a look at sighting in a 22 rifle with me. Sight it in at whatever distance you want.